Hello and welcome to another face paint forum shot tutorial. I'm Elizabeth Gale and I'm going to show you how I paint a flame arm design. So I've started with a Craze FX uh, one stroke which is called Jalapeno and you only want to pick up the tiniest bit of black and I'm using a three quarter inch flat brush. So to practice doing the flame shapes I started by just doing a scoop shape with the brush. So right on the tip of your brush, pushing down and then pulling up. So you end on the tip of the brush again. And then the next step is to link that to another step. So a scoop shape and then pulling round and down. So a scoop shape again up onto the tip of your brush nice and thin and then so you get that thin edge and then I'm right-handed so I find it easier to do the right side so coming to the left side is difficult for me so you can do it that way that I've just shown or it doesn't always work very well for me so I find it easier on the other side to do a scoop shape like that and then pull down but whatever works for you And then the next step after that is to link it all together. So a big scoop shape at the top. We're almost going into a backward S shape on this side. So scoop up. And then pull down on the tip of your brush again. Scoop up again. You get the idea. <laughs> and then you want to stagger your scoop shapes. So where there's a gap on the other side. Pull up and connect them all together. And then down. And then you've got a long flame um, shape. And then to fill the middle in, I've just got a filbert brush and just pick up some of the yellow from the one stroke and just quickly fill that in. And then when you've mastered your long flame design then you can add in other things so uh, sometimes it's a football, here I'm going to do a baseball so I've just got a round sponge dauber and load it up with some DFX white with a little bit of black on the edge and just twist it and then I'm going to go ahead with the same uh, one stroke and the scoop shapes and the backward S's uh, to create the flame And then here I'm just going down the side, really on the thin side of the brush, down by the baseball edge. And then filling in the middle again with the yellow and a filbert brush, or you can do this with the end of your um, three-quarter flat brush as well. And then here I'm going to outline this bit. So I've got some DFX black and a low corner number two brush, a gold grip. And when you and when I'm outlining this, just doing it really thin down the edge of the flame and then where it scoops up I'm going to put more pressure so it's a darker shadow in the scoop part of the flame. And the same on the other side. And then I'm going to add in the details for the baseball. I'm adding two black wavy lines to 
to start the part of the stitching. And then with uh, some Superstar Valentine Shimmer Red, I'm going to use my number two brush again and flick in towards that black line to create the red stitching. And you could swap this out for a football, which is more popular in my country, <laughs> um, or a basketball, tennis ball, whatever. Whatever suits the person that you're um, painting. And I've just got my local nail number two brush again and just outlining the top of the uh, ball with the black DFX. And then you could add more flames in the middle of this design, um, some swirls, but I'm going to add some glitter in the middle. And I've just got some orange glitter gel that goes quite nicely with this flame colour. And you could add a lot more to this design, so you could add, stencil some stars on, you could add more flames in the middle, um, some tribal lines would look good. And here are some more ideas to go with your flame design. Thank you for watching the tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to visit Face Paint Forum Shop for all these supplies and more. And keep an eye out on Facebook for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, bye bye!